John Ehrlichman right beside me here in New York. Analyst Meredith Whitney calling for billions in muni defaults, but now those calls coming under increasing attack. So, John, I mean, she is kind of, she was on, uh, you know, publishing out yesterday, yeah. right, saying that, look out. Some people say oh, yeah. it's, it's an exaggerated call. And there's no doubt this is crunch time for cities and municipalities across the country. But the big question ultimately is who will end up defaulting on this debt? And you're right. Meredith Whitney has this very bold call suggesting those numbers are going to be in the hundreds of billions of dollars. Bill Gross of PIMCO was on our air yesterday saying he disagrees with that number, as does Dick Larkin, who's been covering the industry for 35 years, who says, in his opinion, quite frankly, she's dead wrong. I not only disagree, I think her comments are irresponsible. Um, I just put out a report saying that at worst, and, and I understand this is the worst recession we've had since the Great Depression. I know there will be more defaults. It won't possibly come near hundreds of billions of dollars. I've estimated $20 billion at most. Now, $20 billion is still a huge number, but Larkin says that represents less than 1% of the roughly 60,000 issuers in this country, whereas Whitney is talking about a number that represents in the neighborhood of 20% of the entire market. So when you step back and take a larger bird's eye view, I mean, how are we going to know who's right and who's wrong and by when? And in the meantime, a lot of investors have been very worried and some have been selling these bonds. Uh, it'll likely take the rest of the year. Budget battles are taking place right now. One thing we want to show you on, uh, on our wall, our map here, is the concern concerns that Larkin has with so-called development districts in states like Nevada, Texas, and Florida. His concern is that there are units of government that are charged with basically building out things like sewage systems, Deirdre, uh, in new developments, housing developments, but a lot of people aren't buying homes right now. But the bigger picture is that for most cities, municipalities, and states, they still have a lot of options, whether it's raising taxes or cutting spending or refinancing their debt. That's the big reality right now. John, thanks very much. John Ehrlichman with the very latest on this muni mess.